Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm using the Lemon Sky Outdoor Collection in Photoshop. This action set is made up of over 120 intuitive and beautiful high-end actions in workflow order so that you can edit your outdoor portraits super fast without spending hours messing around trying to make them look right. You can also batch these actions across multiple images in your gallery that you have open at once with the same editing layers so that your gallery is consistent and kind of totes your own signature style which is easy to develop using these actions because they're just so flexible. This beautiful photo is by Karen Hook and I'm going to move quite quickly throughout this edit. For an in-depth tutorial of how to use these actions please do watch video number one which is where I really go into detail about installing and using these actions and about how each of these sections works. I'm starting here with the underexposure fixer upper base because this image is quite dark so this base will allow me to bring the details back um, in kind of a full tonal range without having to work hard to recover any of the shadows or the highlights or the colours. You'll notice that the background layer will remain intact and these actions are completely non-destructive. They kind of build up and stack one and on top of the other so you can mix and match to create the perfect signature blend for your image and you can choose any of the bases. I mean you don't have to use a base, you can go straight into um, editing using the one-click section but these do make things super easy. So I'm just going to um, start here on the shadow lift and just get this exposure up a little bit and then I can decide here to turn these ones on or off. You can also slide the opacity as you wish. Add a histogram fix. That vibrance there, I quite like that but I'm just going to turn it down because I don't think I'm ready for the full colour of the image yet. Contrast pop again, that one's going to come down a little. Warm up. And then you have some paints here. So you can use a white brush. I like to be on 100% opacity, 25% flow. And you can, you know, you can turn these on off to see what the effect is, or you can just kind of paint in. Rescue the highlights, bring that down on the top a little bit. And that's before and after using the underexposure fixer upper. You can see the colours have all been brought back, so I'm going to snapshot and flatten. I now have the one click image balance section. Um, here, these are literally just exactly what they say on the tin. You can click them and they will overlay onto your image. You can also paint off here, slide the opacity again if you want to, but you'll probably find one click will work for you. Now we have the multi layer workflows. Again, like the multi-layer um, image bases at the top, these add a workflow base so you can really get into the skin and the details of your image. Again, you don't have to play one of these. These are just a way of really speeding things up for you. They take a little while to run because they set up loads of layers, but they still it's a lot faster than you setting these layers up by yourself. And it really gives you kind of the raw ingredients to work with when editing skin and details. So I'm going to zoom in a little nice and close to the skin, make my brush small again, I'm on the same brush settings. And I'm going to start with remove blemishes, this is great for little skin flakes, um, spots, kind of um, little stray hairs, little flakes, anything that you just want to super quickly get rid of in your image. We have foundations here. Pick out the details. I'm going to use this one super quickly. Just to go over the eyes a little, but I think in a minute I'm going to work on bringing those eyes out even more, so I'm not going to worry too much right now. I'm going to slightly take these reds down a little, just a tiny bit. Perhaps lift the shadows. I think with the contour depth I may turn that one off a little bit, lift the shadows. So these are totally non-destructive to your background layer, so until you take a snapshot, you know, you can kind of mix and match, turn them on or off, you can go back and edit. The beauty of taking snapshots is you can go back in your edit. There's the underexposure fixer upper, there's the warm-up base, there's the radiant workflow. Well we've really started picking the skin details out there. Uh, 
I'm going to come into the skin section here. I think I'm going to warm the skin up a little. I may add a little bit of burn as well and a little bit of brighten. So it's just adding a warmth to the skin there. I'm just using the burn to just add to some darkness around the edges there. And flatten down. I'm going to really work on the portrait details of the skin. I'm going to use the Cream Soft Foundation. This is one of my favourites. This will add a really nice creamy softness to the skin. I'd recommend going in quite light this, with this one. You can always build it up if you need to. Avoid the eyelashes, the lips and kind of any of the major details. And now onto the eyes. Um, I'm going to use dual iris colour. This will really um, bring out the colour in those eyes. It's great for a close-up portrait like this. Because of course we want the eyes to be the first thing you're kind of drawn to in the picture. So this really helps them pop out. But in a very realistic and subtle way. I'm going to play lashes, liner and brows. This will allow me to darken and bring attention to the eyelashes. And the brows. Really sharpening in. I think I'm going to sharpen the lips up too. It really is up to you how um, how much or how little you edit skin, but it's all here should you want it. And flatten down. So now we're coming into the finishing section, although I might do the hair super quickly actually. I might use painted hair here. Had a real painterly effect to the hair, darkens it down a little, and lifts the highlights in other areas there, adds a kind of nice softness. I think I'm going to use a haze in the creative section, this is where we start finishing the image now how we want to. You can move this where you want. And hit OK, the action will play out. You probably want to grab a black brush if you want to paint this off your subject and click on the haze layer here. Black means hide. You can also change the colour of the haze here by clicking on the box. And see it really makes a difference to your image. I do like the warmth offered here. And I'm just going to turn the whole thing down a little bit. And flatten. We have the finishing section here. I'm going to add darken, but I'm going to paint this off the face. Because I like making the background a little darker if possible to really bring attention to the subject. You notice a black brush has already been selected, so I'm just going to take this off her using a black brush. That way the background stays a little darker, but she doesn't. Contrast. Maybe a little matte. And again, you can decide whether you want these or not. They're non-destructive, so you can, you know, slide the opacity and if you don't want them, you can just trash them. The vignettes. Again, this is going to darken the corners more. And with the black brush selected, I may just bring this off these areas a little bit. Into the signature washes, I think I'm going to go straight in for a nice warm glow. Contrast one off, I don't think it's needed. Or you could go the other way and go with a cream haze perhaps. 
These are great to kind of try out and you'll decide which one you really like for your image. There are so many ways you can edit the same image. You could give this photo to 10 photographers and they'd come back with 10 different edits. Uh, with the set, which is really great because it means it really can adapt to your personal style. And you can go back at any point, you know, I can go carry on editing the skin more. I can uh, lift and brighten and, you know, change and do whatever. So that's where we were when we started, and that's where we finished. I'm going through the snapshots, you can see the edits that have taken place. And that's using the LSP Lemon Sky Collection for outdoor photography, over 120 actions in workflow order. This image is by Karen Hook. And that's available at www.lsp-actions.com.